I'm Nicole Burley. It is Friday, April 21st. This is News Nation Rush Hour and controversial plans to build a $2 billion Chinese owned factory in Michigan will move forward. Its construction site is agreed is in Green Charter Township. That's a small community in rural Michigan, and it's coming with the promise of bringing thousands of jobs. However, not everyone is convinced, especially because of its location. Correspondent Evan Lambert is joining us live with some new details on this. Good evening, Evan. Hey, Nicole, with this vote, the state of Michigan is ponying up the tax breaks to make this plant a reality. Now opponents say they'll fight it even harder. This is Goshen High Tech, a communist Chinese company wiggling their way into our country, into our uh, county, uh, doing this. They don't follow our rules. There are America's enemy right now. Michigan lawmakers have given a green light to a Chinese owned electric vehicle battery factory set to bring nearly 2,000 jobs and controversy to a rural area an hour north of Grand Rapids. You have 10 yeas and nine yeas. In a 10 to 9 vote, the state's Senate Appropriations Committee approved a $175 million tax break, paving the way for the facility to move forward. China's our number one enemy. Despite loud opposition from some residents of Green Charter Township that News Nation first told you about last week. We have captured, I think, the attention of our country on this. And thanks to, to uh, your, your service, your news, uh, this is getting out. Uh, and it's getting out through locally, statewide, nationwide. The $2 billion facility is planned for farmland in a town of about 3,200, and it'll be owned and operated by Goshen Inc., a subsidiary of a company based in China. A corporate document that reads the company, quote, shall carry out party activities in accordance with the constitution of the Communist Party of China is raising red flags as is the site's location, about 100 miles from Camp Grayling, where the National Guard is training the Taiwanese military. In a tweet just before Thursday's vote, Congressman John Molinar added to the criticism, writing, Goshen's CCP ties are real and not alleged, but the town board and the Senate committee with the purse strings is supportive of the project, which is expected to bring high-paying jobs to a low-income area in America's heartland. Nicole, the resident we spoke to who is against this plant says the deal is not done. They plan on objecting to a zoning change that needs to happen and say beyond that, they are weighing their legal options. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.